Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So, last night it's absolutely poured down. It's been very windy. To be fair, I like windy conditions. I actually seem to have some good bike sessions in the wind, but it's been very windy, very, very cold. So, it was probably about three degrees in the morning. Um, obviously temperature drops can make lure fishing more difficult than obviously when it's a bit warmer. But anyway, uh, coming to the end of my session, I have managed to have some success and I caught a pretty nice pike. So I'm starting off with this damn F-set lure, multi-jointed. Um, wife brought me it for our anniversary. Eight years together now, so quite a long time. But yeah, uh, she likes getting me lures, got plenty coming for Christmas. So I'm going to go out and see if we can catch ourselves some awesome slash going into winter pike. Here comes the video guys and I hope you enjoy it. a new bait casting reel for my backup rod so I thought I'd give that a go today and see how it is and it cost me £20 reduced from 60 it's an Okuma bait casting reel not sure of the model but um, yeah I thought I'd give it a go and see how it is Just had a little jack pike come for that, and I twitched it right at the wrong time. You're coming next to me, mate. In my territory. Whoa. Okay, I'm scared. See ya. And this geese has got beef with me, I think. Geese has definitely got beef on me, it's just followed me up the river. <laughs> I'm gonna move, it's a fight I don't want. Here he comes again. This geese has got a serious, geese, swan, whatever you call them, a serious issue with me, look. What do you want, mate? Leave me alone. Again. He's come out of his friends this time. Mate, you're really starting to irritate me now. At speed, no. I 
Bueno... Finally. But my... My friend doesn't like it. My net has got caught in my bag. Bad timing, man. Uh. Might just have to chin it. Not having good fun with my nets. So I've been grafting quite a lot today, trying out different lures. Switched over to my homemade jig fly, and it took it no later than five minutes. Awesome pike, I'm gonna get it out and get a picture. guys look at that absolute beauty of a fish change a few lures to try and find the one that the pipe wanted Impressive. thank you <laughs> and uh yeah took my homemade jig fly what a fish absolutely amazing look at that right i'm gonna get it back and get see if we can get some more give it a nice rest Okay, that's ready to go. Right guys, so, <laughs> been fishing for quite a while, about three hours, I only had the one follow. Finally, I landed a pike. These sort of conditions, about two degrees, can make it a lot harder, so lure choice is paramount. Sorry, I went to catch my uh, phone there. Tripod's uh, on the go, you can see it's very windy. <laughs> anyway, so I started off with this F sit. Good for these sort of waters, I can reel it in nice and slow. And the waters here is probably four to five foot, and I can get down to about two foot, so it's somewhere in the middle. It keeps it in the danger zone for quite a long time, so that's good. And that's what I had a follow on, didn't catch a pike on it, but definitely gonna go on with it with another video and uh, definitely think it's gonna catch us a pike. I tried my good old Raptor Otis. Slow sinking, nice big tail, nothing, not even a follow. Tried my Savage Gear Gobi, which you've probably seen a video before, which caught me pike, nothing today. So I switched over to my homemade jig fly. Fire Tiger. Oh, there goes my tripod.
fire tiger. Tied this at home. Probably took me about 20 minutes to tie. Got a lot of flash in it at the end. Probably cost me about two quid to make and it caught me a nice pike. So it just goes to show, you don't need expensive lures. Even these things catch. And to be honest, they are my favorite thing. And they catch me a lot of pike. Right, I'm gonna keep going and see if we can catch some more.